We're coming to you from the mall. Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Phillipsburg Mall in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Hey everyone, so here we are entering the mall, and I will tell you a little bit about uh, the history of this mall. This mall was built and opened in 1989. It has four anchors. Three are currently occupied. It has a Kohl's, a Sears, and a Bonton. The mall is is uh, so large. It's one giant corridor um, that just goes on forever and ever between Kohl's and Sears. It's like it feels like it's like three miles long, but it's probably not three miles long. <laughs> but it's a pretty good distance. If you're into mall walking, this would be like the perfect mall. Uh, I was ready to drop dead by the time I got down to Sears. So <laughs> um, the crazy thing about this mall is that where the Coles is, um, it's kind of like not busy where Coles is. As you head towards the center of the mall is where it gets the most busy, busy, like more, you know, there seems like there's a little more action going on, but then as you head towards Sears, it just goes right down the toilet. Right here on the right, uh, the store that's in there, it's a uh, record shop. The guy actually sells LPs, but he's expanding the business and he's moved to a bigger space. So that's good news. As you can see, there's a Victoria's Secret up ahead here to the left is where the mall offices are. And we'll continue forward. This is the first mall I've ever been to where... They have an H&M with no customers in it. <laughs> I've never seen that before, ever. Like, I walked past H&M, and there was nobody inside. It looks like it, it looked like it was closed, but it's open. And I love this shot of this sad tree that's half living, half not living, sitting there.
this is another mall that took uh, a bunch of spaces and converted them into a Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym is really moving into a lot of uh, troubled malls and taking up entire sections of the mall, which is good for the mall and good for the community because uh, people can go and um, get exercise. And it's a great place to have a gym if you think about it. Um, It's a great way to repurpose these struggling malls. It's perfect. Here's an old uh, Deb store, and if you look in the gate here, you see these uh, sad Easter rabbits just standing there in the dark with the uh, potted flowers around them. Pretty depressing. And here is one of the creepiest cafes I've ever seen. I don't know what the person who owned this place was thinking when they came up with this motif, but it is terrifying. And I was pretty taken aback. I've never seen anything this crazy in a shopping mall um, eatery before. This is insane. How on earth did this place ever serve anything? I mean, it's just like crazy looking place. Those faces on that brick oven are the scariest things I've ever seen. Anyway, here we are at the Sears leg of this walk through the mall. Most of the stores here are abandoned, or I should say vacant. There is one store... Uh, That's sort of a mom and pop business. You can see here is the Radio Shack. And another vacant store next to it. Hidden Treasures. Which is having a 40% off sale. So if you can get to Phillipsburg Mall in this millennium, you will be able to get 40% off all of this fine merchandise. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at This Is Dan Bell and check out the rest of the videos in the Dead Mall series.